now next we are going to discuss uh, about a uh, stirling central interpolation formula earlier we discussed about a uh, gas forward central interpolation formula and gas backward central interpolation formula but now one another formula is a uh, stirling formula so first question is a uh, why we use the stirling formula if we have a gas forward central interpolation formula and gas backward central interpolation formula so if we closely observe the observe the gas forward central interpolation formula and gas backward central interpolation formula means uh, if we write uh, the values of x like this one x and here u here we write a y equal f x y equal f x and we write the values of a x here we write a, again we a for sake of a simplicity we are going to write a odd number of a terms so suppose here there is a central value before the central value there is x 0 minus h this one is x 0 minus 2 h after the central value x 0 plus h and x 0 plus 2 h 2 h and what is the value of y obviously here we write a y minus 2 and y minus 1 y 0 this one is a y 1 this one is a y 2 y 2 so what will happen here uh, what is the value for u obviously we know that what is the u u is a x minus x 0 upon h so if we put x equal x 0 minus h then x 0 minus x minus x 0 upon h this become what this become 0 this become minus 1 this become minus 2 this become plus 1 and this become plus 2 so if we construct the forward difference table then this one is a del y then this one is a del y minus 2 del y minus 1 del y 0 and del y 1 similarly second order forward difference with the del 2 y minus 2 del 2 y minus 1 and del 2 y 1 not a y 1 y 0 del 3 y with the del 3 y minus 2 and del 3 y minus 1 and del 4 y fourth order forward difference with the del 4 y minus 2. So, what is happen in a gas forward and gas backward we choose the central line we choose the central line this one is a 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 central line in a gas forward we use the central value and next to the central value next to the central value central value and next to the central value next to the central value and then we use the central value central value central value central value or next to the central value next to the central value but if there is a even number of a term two term with a middle term central term here del y 0 and del y minus 1 is a middle term here del 2 y minus 1 is a middle term central term del 3 y minus 1 and del 3 y minus 2 is a middle term del 4 y minus 2 is a middle term in a gas forward if there is an odd number of a term then we use the central value but if there is an even number of a term then we use the next value from the means a one of the value from the central values and in a similarly and similarly if there is a gas backward we are going to use the gas backward then we use the central value and previous to the central value central value previous to the central value means if there is a odd term then we use the central value but if there is an event term then we use the one term of a central value in a gas forward next va uh, next value and in a gas backward previous value means we are not going to you we are not using both central values 
this one is a what this one is a drawback of a drawback of a gauss forward and gauss backward and in a stirling formula uh, means a stirling removes this drawback means uh, they use the both the central values if there is a odd number of a term then they choose the single central value if there is a even number of a term then he take the average of a two central values means a uh, in a in a stirling formula we use the central value if there is a odd number of a terms if there is a even number of a term we find the average of a these two we find the average of a these two and if there is a one central value then we use choose the one central value if there is a two central values then we find the average of a these two average of a these two and if there is a one central value then we choose the one central value so this one is a what this one is a stirling formula in a stirling formula if there is a odd number of a term then we use the central value then average of a two central differences then central difference then average of a two central difference then central difference now one another question as a gauss backward central interpolation formula if the value of a u lie between 0 to minus 1 then we use the gauss backward central interpolation formula and gauss forward central interpolation formula we use if the value of a u lie between 0 to plus 1 but when we use the gauss means a stirling formula if the value of a u if the value of a u lie the value of a u lie between minus 1 by 2 to 1 by 2 means if the value lie between mid of a x0 and x0 plus h means x0 minus h by 2 to x0 plus h by 2 means if the value lie in between to x0 minus h to x0 and x0 to x0 plus h or you may say x0 minus h by 2 to x0 plus h by 2 then we apply the stirling formula then the stirling formula give the more accurate result in comparison of a gauss forward and gauss backward because there is a one question means uh, if you lie u is uh, greater than minus 1 less than 0 then we able to apply the what gauss backward as well as stirling formula but if we apply the stirling formula means a minus 1 by 2 to 0 then this one give the more accurate result in comparison of a gauss backward interpolation formula if u lie between u is a greater than 0 and less than 1 then we able to apply forward central interpolation formula here backward central interpolation formula backward backward but if you lie between minus 1 to 1 by 2 then we apply the stirling formula stirling's formula stirling formula so in other words we choose the value of x0 in a such a way if you lie between minus 1 by 2 to 1 by 2 then We, then be able to apply the stirling formula or in another word we say that we able to find out more accurate result if we use the stirling formula so this one is a what this one is a stirling formula what is the stirling formula just here we are going to write a stirling formula so what is the stirling formula here we write a stirling formula stirling interpolation formula stirling stirlings central interpolation formula central interpolation formula interpolation interpolation formula formula stirling central interpolation formula now again here we are not going to derive the stirling interpolation formula the derivation of a stirling interpolation formula if once we have a gauss forward and gauss backward 
interpolation formula just we find the average of a gauss forward and backward interpolation formula this one is another thing is stradling central interpolation formula so here we write directly without uh, derivation directly we write the stradling interpolation formula and the derivation of a stradling formula is uh, like uh, derivation of a uh, first we find a uh, gauss forward interpolation formula and gauss backward interpolation formula and find the average of a uh, gauss forward and gauss backward then be able to find out what stradling interpolation formula so here you may write the first gauss forward gauss forward interpolation formula and gauss backward interpolation formula gauss backward interpolation formula and find the average of these two average of a first and second average of a first and second then be able to find out a stradling formula or you may write directly so here we are going to write first gauss forward interpolation formula and gauss backward interpolation formula then write the average of these two and average of these two is nothing is stradling interpolation formula so what is the gauss forward gauss forward is a y equal y0 plus u del y0 plus u u minus 1 upon factorial 2 del 2 y minus 1 plus u plus 1 u u minus 1 upon factorial 3 factorial 3 del 3 y minus 1 and so on in a similar manner what is the gauss backward if we write gauss backward here gauss backward gauss backward interpolation formula central interpolation formula so what is the gauss backward central interpolation formula just as we write earlier y equal y0 plus u del y minus 1 plus u u plus 1 u plus 1 upon factorial 2 del 2y minus 1 plus u plus 1 u u minus 1 upon factorial 3 del 3 y minus 2 so we find the average of a first and second what is the stradling formula now stradling stradling's formula is a nothing else average of a first and second average average of first and second average of a first and second so what is the stradling formula y equal average of a y0 plus y0 by 2 this one is a y0 plus here u inside the bracket del y0 plus del y minus 1 divided by 2 this one is the second term means a u for first second divided by 2 means a first and second divided by 2 this one is a what average of a first and second so here what is the next term next term is a be at these terms so what is the value value is a uh, here u square minus u u square plus 1 so u square plus u so u square and plus 1 cancel out so this one is a u square del 2 y minus 1 upon factorial 2 this one is a next one is a what plus u square u square and u square minus 1 square upon factorial 3 and average of these two term del 3 y minus 1 plus del 3 y minus 2 divided by 2 and so on this one is a stradling formula so you may remember the stradling formula directly without using the gauss forward and gauss backward but if you have a uh, if you have a knowledge of a gauss forward and gauss backward means uh, 
you have already remember the gauss forward and gauss backward interpolation formula just find the average of a gauss forward and gauss backward then be able to find out our stirling formula so this one is a stirling formula uh, if you if you have not studied the gauss forward and gauss backward interpolation formula directly you may write the y equal y0 plus u del y0 del y minus 1 by 2 u square upon factorial 2 del 2y minus 1 u square u square minus 1 square upon factorial 3 and a bridge for this one. So, in this way, in this way be able to write what? Be able to write, be able to write uh, not uh, here what is the average, average of uh, this one is a not this one is a u square sorry this one is a u basically if, uh, if we write a u this one is a u average of these two with a u okay so this one is a stirling formula and if we you are going to write one another term of a stirling formula you may write this one u square u square minus 1 square u square u square minus 1 square upon factorial 2 factorial 4 del 2 y minus del 4 y minus 2 y minus 2 and so on. So, in this way you may directly write the Stirling formula there is a no need of a uh, there is a no need to know about the gas forward gas backward if you want directly you want to go directly apply the Stirling formula.